Hey gang, I cracked open my GSP 21 by Digitech. It's actually the 21 Pro. Uh, it's been sitting in the corner for like a year and um, my buddy Alex King was doing an interview with Vivian Campbell that I, I hadn't realized Vivian used the GSP 21 as his preamp when he first got into Def Leppard. I mean, that kind of blew my mind. So I was like, well, I got to crack this open. Uh, this is pretty good. And this is going to blow everything away. Um, well, first up is to change an EEPROM out so that I could get all those celebrity presets that they were touting in the magazines. The drool-worthy presets. So I got this guy, but it's on version 101, 1.01 is the software version. And that's not the software version I want. I want 2.3. So, I ordered this from Germany, and I need to plug this into there somehow. I'm, I'm not going to film it, because I'm going to make terrible mistakes, and there'll be some smarty pants that will yell at me, um, and I'm going to install it and pray that it works. Ooh, it worked! So there's the direct sound, which is direct into the computer interface using a two notes wall of sound plugin and my big hairy ir cab so it's direct burnk using an ir and i set up a real life stereo guitar rig this running into a mesa 290 power amp into a stereo vht 212 with an sm57 on each speaker so we could hear it that way too because i'm guessing that's how these guys intended it but we'll see here is the Luke lead patch. What could make it better? A lot of gate, a lot of compression in this sound. Let's tweak something parameters let's go all the way to the beginning ah there it is chorus on yeah i actually think that sounds better but i think we could tweak this because the reverb sounds kind of poopy Ah, this is, there's an en enhancement, which I think is like a BBE. Let's turn that down. Whoops, what did I do? Oh no! The dreaded, I ruined everything. All right, so I have three enchant enhancements. So let's cut down the 16K at like 90. It's already better. Someone scooped out 1K, which is dead center in the middle of the tone. So they gave it a super scooped out sound. That's pretty authentically 80s, yeah? Vito Brada patch, yes. 
uh, all day long. Vito Blues Lead. <laughs> That's one of the better patches in this thing. That's kind of, it doesn't have enough gain, but it's kind of that uh, big game. So we could use the compression in the front, which has got max compression, geez, and just turn that up, like boost. <laughs> Not an ADA MP1, but it's you know, it's all in one rack. It's you know, fat rhythm. <laughs> well, they kind of went a little crazy on the reverb. <laughs> Lynch rhythm. I wouldn't have pinpointed that as a George Lynch rhythm. Here's Eric Peterson from Testaments Riffs. That's not bad. some Alex Skolnick in here too. Dave the Snake Sabo from Skid Row. Thank you. 
Aha! Tim Kelly, the late great Tim Kelly, guitarist from Slaughter, has a little set here. Rock the Nation patch from him. Wow, that's so uninspiring. Oof. Uh, can we fix it? All the balls. How do I get more balls? Nope, that's all the balls. That's all the balls? Can I get all the bottom end? It's like there's no bottom end happening. Not terrible, not terrible. Let me show you these real quick now that we have a sound that's kind of all right. Heavy sustain. Really warm, super warm. More of a like a brown sound bite. Kind of a more metal-y version of that, and... BB is Bob the Bradshaw. So this is Bob Bradshaw lead. I like that, that's quite nice. All right, my man Brad Gillett. Bali. Well, 
I'm not blown away. We'll put it that way. And there's a lot of wacky reverb dialed up on like every preset. I don't know if you should rush out and pick one of these up. It's not as silly and fun 80s as like the ART stuff, but it is really because I think it's more like a 92, 93 era where uh, everyone was so serious and so the sounds were more like, look at me, I'm so cool. I don't know. If you love some celebrity presets, it's got some. Alrighty then, see y'all.